let us pray for our Vietnam veterans. You can be at peace for God loves you and is with you now and always. You can be at peace for you were strong, whole, courageous, and capable. You can be at peace, dear friend, for you were never alone. Indeed, you can be at peace at this time and in this, this experience of your life, for you know the fact that the Father abiding within you is your always sufficiency in every way. In his name we pray, amen. You may be seated. We will now have a welcome by our mayor, William Nyer. Thank you, Jean. Is this better? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jean. Uh, Jean did not introduce herself. She is the American Legion Department of Ohio First Vice Commander. Um, I thank her for coordinating the opening or the closing ceremonies and everything that she's done in support of this effort. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone here today. We're all standing in the greatest nation on earth. This nation was fought for for our freedom, beginning with the Revolutionary War and through many wars, men and women have served honorably. Many sacrificed a small bit, some sacrificed all. During Vietnam, there's over 58,000 names on that wall. Friends, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, some mothers and fathers. Today, and through the last few days, people have had the opportunity to come and view this memorial to pay respect to those for the service they provided to our country. Today, we will close this ceremony in a dignified way. And if you have the opportunity afterwards that you've not had yet to visit that wall and pay your respects, I implore you to do so. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, JTM, the three veterans organizations, the VFW, the Legion, and the AMVETS. Duke Energy, and most importantly, um, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial for choosing Harrison for a potential site. And the city did the easy part. We said yes. The volunteers and sponsors made it happen. So if you see any of the volunteers, thank them. If you have an opportunity to say something to JTM, thank them. Thank you for being here today. Mayor, Mayor, on behalf of Governor Michael DeWine, he sends this certificate of appreciation for the city of Harrison and appreciates your support of the Vietnam veterans. On behalf of the state of Ohio, we thank you for your commitment to Ohio Vietnam's veterans. Hosting the Wall That Heals is a great opportunity to remind Ohioans of the 58,000 members of the United States Armed Forces that made the ultimate sacrifice during the Vietnam War. And we commend everyone involved in this project and thank every military member and veteran for your dedication and service on this 13th day of June. 
Mike DeWine, Governor of the State of Ohio. Now is my great pleasure to introduce Cindy Abrams. She is, she is a resident of Harrison, former member of Harrison City Council, but she serves us today as the Ohio State Representative for District 29. Cindy. Good afternoon and thank you for inviting me to participate in this closing ceremony. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, Jaeger Benson Memorial American Legion Post 199, VFW Dual Post 7550, AMVETS Post 13, JTM, Duke Energy, and the City of Harrison have been instrumental in bringing the wall that heals to our community as a tangible reminder of the military men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice to the United States during the Vietnam War. Personally, I come from a proud service-driven family. My grandpa served in the Army as a tank commander in World War II. My father served in the National Guard. My father-in-law served with the Marines in the Korean War, and my husband served in the Army 1st Infantry Division. I learned at an early age that freedom isn't free. We are all free to assemble here today because of the brave men and women who have fought and are currently fighting for the freedoms we all enjoy. We must never forget the men and women that paid the ultimate sacrifice and take time each day to reflect on the many blessings that we all have, all of which we owe to them. God bless those who have gone before us, God bless our troops, and God bless America. Next we have with us today, Senator Bill Blessing. Senator. Thank you for that, and, uh, and thank you uh, State Representative Cindy Abrams. Uh, she followed uh, me in that State Representative seat and has been doing a, a spectacular job. Uh, I won't uh, build on too much of what she said. She did a, a great job saying uh, what needed to be said, but uh, I remember a few years ago when this came to Coleraine, and it was a spectacular event back then. It's a spectacular event now. And uh, we do what we can to honor, honor our Vietnam veterans. You know, if you look back in history, uh, the time that the Vietnam War was being fought was very similar to what's going on today. There are a lot of divisions, a lot of, a lot of cracks in, in how people viewed the world, viewed the country. And, um, you know, they went overseas and they fought and they died for a country and an idea that they believe in that is a great idea. The founding of this country and what it, what it has become is simply wonderful. And I can give you as an example, um, occasionally I will go down to the district court uh, during the uh, naturalization services for those who have become U.S. citizens. They come here because they know this is a great country. This is a great country because it is free. And it is free because of all of the veterans, Vietnam veterans, World War I, World War II, all of the conflicts uh, that this country has been engaged in uh, have purchased the freedom that makes this this country so great. Uh, so with that, I'm, I'm glad that this event is here. I hope that you all get a chance to go through it. Uh, it it's certainly a wonderful event, and I'm, I'm very proud to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Blessing. Now we have with us Mr. Tony Moss, the president of JTM. And trust me when I tell you that this event would not be here today without the cooperation, the dedication, and the donations of JTM. They have been outstanding to us in every way and any need that we ask, they make sure that, that we got it done. And we really appreciate it. So Mr. Tony Moss. Well, I definitely want to thank the team of JTM for, the, for their, what they have done here the last couple days, especially Todd and Matt, uh, Tim, Brittany, and everybody who's pulled together, and then all the volunteers that have helped. But as the previous two speakers have said, freedom is not free. Uh, and with that heart of gratitude, gratitude, you know, you think about 
the ultimate uh, things in life. And the, the, I believe the most important thing there is in life is our faith in God. And with living in America, you get to be able to serve God and country. Without that country, you won't be able to serve God in the way that each and every one of us uh, believe. Myself, I'm Catholic, believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe what he said is ultimately uh, the most, uh, one of the most important things he said. The greatest thing in life is to lay down your life for a friend. And as I sit here today, look at that wall, and look at all those folks that have put themselves in front of us, not even knowing many of us here today or all the people that come through for us. It is with that extreme heart of gratitude to, for me to reflect and say, why wasn't me, Lord? Why wasn't it my turn to be there in the late 60s, early 70s there to see my name drafted? And I wasn't there and that happening. But maybe what I need to do and what we all need to do that uh, have got a different calling, that we look at that heart of gratitude and remember those heroes in front of us and make sure that we do our part to keep America free. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moss. Next, we have Donald Broadhurst. Um, he's a United States Air Force veteran. He is also with Duke Energy, and he is another big reason his foundation, the Duke Energy Foundation, is another big reason that we were able to, able to host this. Um, believe it or not, it costs a great deal of money to bring the wall anywhere and they helped us out immensely with a very generous donation of $5,000 to help bring the wall here. So we'd like to have Donald say a few words. So let, let me take these readers off so I can uh, actually talk. So <clears throat> can y'all hear me okay? So I'm very humbled here, uh, you know, as a veteran, but also as a, uh, a son of a veteran. So um, let, me, let, me, let me continue here. So, and, and not only am I honored, I'm also humbled by the opportunity to share just a few perspectives this day. And I know it's hot, so I'll be brief. So my late father, Master Sergeant uh, Alvin Broadhurst, served in 1964 and 65 in Vietnam. Uh, he received a, uh, a Purple Heart for his, uh, his duty and sacrifice. He also uh, was a member of the 3rd Brigade First calf. So I see a first calf patch right here on the front row. Uh, so uh, just wanted to make that point. But um, I'm also proud to be a member of Duke Energy and be able to financially support the wall that heals uh, as it stopped over here in, in uh, Harrison, Ohio. And, you know, after completing my service, I joined Duke Energy because, you know, I, I, I saw a, 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 a correlation between the Air Force the way the work was challenging, and also the way Duke Energy challenged me, but also because Duke Energy uh, includes and, and values its employees and also supports in the, uh, the development of its employees, but also uh, we serve to protect and to help those who serve our country. So our, our employees that are in the armed forces, who, who are in the reserves, we, we go the, the extra mile to ensure they're able to fulfill their military service. Uh, I wanted to briefly recognize all of those among us today who made the choice, I call it the choice, and have been a part of the great sisterhood and brotherhood that we call the U.S. military, our veterans, and that is our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Coast Guard, and Marines, and reservists. So it is those who served us and took that sacrifice that has kept our country safe, but more importantly, kept our country free. I also want to take a minute to to honor those who, uh, the wives, the husbands, the mothers, the fathers, the sisters, the brothers, the daughters, and the sons who made their own personal sacrifice by supporting uh, those of us who had to deploy to protect the freedom of the United States of America. And lastly, but certainly not least, let us remember and honor and mourn the brave individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice in protecting our country and the freedom of everyone who lives here. So these are the women and the men uh, who, who heard the call to duty, but not only heard it, but they answered the call to duty, who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. Uh, 
They left their families, their homes, and ultimately many of them gave their lives, not for recognition or for fame, but simply just to serve. So as we view the wall that heals and the names of the tens of thousands of brave and courageous and heroic men and women who lost their lives, please reflect on what freedom really means to you. And, it, and, and let's all walk towards tomorrow, still honoring those who have fallen for us, but by also uh, granting the freedom and the, the right of protection to our children as we move forward. So with that, I'd like to say thank you again for allowing me to speak this afternoon. And on behalf of Duke Energy, uh, we feel very pleased and honored to have been able to sponsor this event. So thank you. Thank you, John. Before we move on, I would like all Vietnam veterans to please stand and be recognized. And if you're already standing, please raise your hand. All Vietnam vets, thank you all for your service. And I know it seems old sometimes when people say, welcome home. We now have the commander of the American Legion, William Bill Nair. 46 years ago, the end of the Vietnam War era, 8 million served on active and reserve duty during that time, 2.7 million served in Vietnam, 11,000 of them were women. There are still 1,584 missing in action. In Ohio, we lost almost 3,000 men in Vietnam, 20,000 were wounded, 13 Medal of Honors were awarded out of Ohio. In Harrison, we lost four men. There were 30,000 men on that wall who are just 18 years old. There is five who are just 16 and one who is just 15. There are three sets of families who have a father and a son on that wall. And there's 42 families that lost two sons. There's 244 Medal of Honor winners on the wall uh, in Vietnam. 153 are on that wall. You know, all who serve honor and respect those brave men and women who gave their life in defense of this great country's in all wars. And as it said, all gave some. In Vietnam, 58,281 made the ultimate sacrifice. God bless America. I'd like to welcome everyone here today on behalf of the AMVETS Department of Indiana and AMVETS Baker Mathis Pies, Post 13 of West Harrison, Indiana. We as a group have worked hard alongside of our brother and sister veterans to bring the wall that heals to our town. As we continue to reflect on the significance of the wall, let us ever be mindful of the men and women whose names appear here on the wall and those still missing from this war. Let us take time to honor and remember these veterans who sacrificed their lives to keep America free. God bless America. Thank you, Candy. Now representing the VFW 7570 is William Floyd, and he is the junior vice commander. I want to thank everybody for attending today, and excuse me if I'm a little nervous. I can't thank the mayor, the council, the Harrison Police Department, the Harrison Fire Department, JTM, Duke, everybody that made this possible. I can't thank all the speakers enough for attending and giving great speeches. I want to thank Post 199, Post 13, and 7570, all the volunteers that helped was just fabulous. Also, I want to thank the uh, bike escort. If you didn't get to see it, it was over five minutes long. It was truly excellent. Uh, uh, truly, I'm honored to be here with 58, over 58,000 of my fallen comrades. This is a great honor for me. Also, we live in the greatest country in the whole wide world. We all have differences about anything and everything, but we live in truly the greatest world there is and God bless the USA. 